In step six of exercise number four, the following actions have to be implemented to machine the holes through the bosses. A drilling operation must be defined. In the solid cam manager, right click the operations header and choose drilling from the add milling operation submenu. The drilling operation dialog box is displayed and enables you to perform drilling and other canned drill cycles that may be supported by the CNC machine. On the geometry page, click the new button to define the drill geometry for the operation. The drill geometry selection dialog box is displayed in the SOLIDWORKS property manager area and enables you to select the geometry for drilling directly on the solid model. When defining the geometry in a drilling operation, SOLIDCAM enables you to select the drill centers using several options. In the Select Centers By area, set the radio button to All Circle Arc Centers and click the All Circle Arc Centers button. SOLIDCAM searches the solid model for arcs and circles and adds all center points as drill positions to the geometry. You can see that SOLIDCAM has found all 12 holes. If you scroll to the bottom of the Drill Geometry Selection dialog box, you can also see the selected holes and their respective X and Y coordinates. The geometry is defined. Click OK to confirm the geometry selection and display the Drilling Operation dialog box. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the Choosing Tool for Operation dialog box. Currently, the 9.5 and 6mm end mills are the only tools that exist in the part tool table and would not be suitable for drilling the holes. For this operation, click the Add Milling Tool button and start a new drilling tool definition. Select Drill from the Drilling Tools list. For the purpose of this exercise, since the diameter of the holes are 4mm, only change the diameter field to 4. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button. In the SOLIDWORKS Graphics area, select the top face of a boss as shown. And then click OK to confirm the selection. Next, click the Drill Depth button and select the bottom center point of a hole. Click OK to confirm the drilling depth definition and display the drilling operation dialog box. When drilling, it is important to note the depth type options. These options enable you to deepen a drilled hole in order to obtain a given diameter at the specified drill depth. Leave the default radio button setting of cutter tip so that the drill tip reaches the defined drilling depth. Switch to the technology page. This page enables you to define the technological parameters of drilling. In the sorting area, you can define the sequence of the drill positions and manage its direction. Default is used for the operation. With default selected, drilling of the holes is performed according to the order in which the points were picked during the geometry definition. In the drill cycle area, click the drill cycle type button. The drill cycle supported by the post processor of the current CNC controller are displayed. These icons represent options such as drilling, pecking, boring, and tapping. Use the standard drilling method, G81. At this point, the drilling operation is defined. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the operation to the cam tree and calculate the tool path. Click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. Using the default HostCAD simulation mode, click the Play button to show the wireframe toolpath on the model. Now that the CAM part is complete, simulate the toolpath for the entire CAM project using Solid Verify. Click the Operations header in the Solid CAM Manager. This will enable you to simulate the toolpath for the CAM project in its entirety. Then, switch to the Solid Verify tab in the Simulation Control Panel. Click the Play button to view the cutting tool as it moves through the solid stock material and machines the CAM part.
As each operation is simulated, you can follow along in the CAM Manager as it highlights the currently playing operations. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the drilling operation dialog box. To close the completed CAM part, right-click the CAM part header in the Solid CAM Manager and choose Close from the menu. At this stage, Step 6 is complete and the exercise has come to an end. If you have not followed along, Apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to define a drilling operation for machining the holes, simulate toolpath for the CAM project, and close the CAM part.